Hello everyone and welcome to this Clothweaver tutorial. Today we will learn how to install Clothweaver in Blender 2.8. So here we are running Blender 2.82a. And first thing we want to do is go to edit preferences. Make sure auto run python scripts is checked. Next, let's find our download folder. So here I've made a folder called Blender Add-ons, and I've downloaded the clothweaver.zip folder. So it says clothweaver, the version number, 4.762, and then your type, individual perpetual. So keep this folder zipped up. Inside we have files for the installation. So now in Blender go to add-ons and hit install. Next we're going to navigate to that folder. So go to Blender, add-ons, and there it is, .zip, clothweaver install that folder okay and then you'll want to search in the search bar for cloth weaver there it is okay okay now hit the checkbox to activate it then we're gonna go ahead and hit save now press N on your keyboard to open up your panel over here. T is your toolbar over here, N is this panel. Let's go ahead and expand our panel. And now we have a tab over here called Cloth Weaver. Okay. So we have our information. We are running version 4.762, individual perpetual, and we've got some links, documentation, a news page, and then a help center for frequently asked questions. Um, we have an internet connection. It says status, you have the latest version. So when Clothweaver starts up, it will search for an internet connection. If it does, it'll tell you whether you need to update or not. If you do not have a connection, it'll say cannot connect. Uh, please enter your license key to receive updates. So, yeah, you will receive a license key in your receipt if you purchase directly from us. If you downloaded via Blender Market or another platform, then please email us and you can receive a key that way. So once you enter your key and confirm, it will tell you that... it's valid or invalid and then you can receive updates when they are available there will be a button to download right within cloth weaver you can always go to the news page and documentation and see the latest changes moving down we have a button that says show tips and info so for example It will show extra information for people who are new to Cloth Weaver. Um, yeah. So down here we have our Cloth Weaver design panel. Here we have our status panel up here. And here we have our design panel. This panel will only appear if you have something selected. So if we delete our cube, it's not going to open. So we need to have something selected, whether it's the camera or something. So now this panel opens. Okay, we've got design. This is our design panel. We have, it asks a couple questions. Um, you can add a collision to your character, change the clothing physics properties. Uh, different questions about fabric, 
you can use triangles um, do you want to automate a couple steps you can check that box these features will be covered in future tutorials this tutorial is just for installation and a basic overview of your menus etc we have our backups a um, couple other functions moving to the clothing tab we have our templates our clothing templates if you are using the basic version of cloth weaver your options will be limited if you are using the ultimate version then you will have everything that you see here and probably more if you are viewing at a future date in time we also have a user template area you can save and load your own templates you can also save your templates to an external file and then let's say you want to sell that online or if you downloaded somebody's cloth weaver template you can import that in this area here okay moving on to the rigging area this allows the automation of rigging your clothing to your character and these features will be covered in the specific tutorials so that is how you install cloth weaver in blender 2.8